Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, plague. And, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, And we come to the topic, uh, plague. Uh, you've probably heard about uh, the tooth cavities. Uh, but another problem that might be lurking in between your teeth uh, tooth cavities don't form out of nowhere instead the cavities start with the buildup of the plaque on your teeth and the dental plaque is sticky film it plays a role in a variety of oral conditions and uh, this clear substance uh, it forms on your teeth every day and in fact it starts uh, to farm as soon as you finish your eating and meal or snacking and uh, it mostly farms on your teeth but it can also farm under the gum line uh, the plaque is one of your mouth's worst enemies and the substance is not only it creates a film over your teeth but it slowly damages or it eats away uh, at your tooth en enamel you know and you know enamel is a uh, the hard surface of your teeth and its function is that it protects your teeth from decay and if you are unable to control plaque your enamel cannot do this job so your risk of for the cavities increases as your enamel is damaged but the question remains what causes dental plaque so this is the most important question uh, you know there are several uh, explanations for the formation of plaque on your teeth uh, you know, the plaque needs bacteria, acids, saliva, and food particles to form. And you may think your mouth is clean and is healthy, but when you eat sugary foods and the carbohydrates, uh, these foods mix with the natural bacteria in your mouth and create an acid. So this acid mixes with saliva and food particles, resulting in the sticky substance plaque. So that's how it forms. Now the dental plaque is clear, so it's hard to see uh, it on your teeth. And if you if you want to do a plaque check, uh, all you need to do is rub your teeth, tongue along your teeth, and especially the back of your teeth. Usually plaque makes the teeth feel uh, rough and uh, slimy. So this is the general test. Uh, you know, it also occurs naturally. So you can reduce it and improve the oral health of your mouth. So next thing is how to prevent it, you know. Well, it's important to remove the plaque before it starts to damage the enamel on your teeth. Now, the plaque sticks to the teeth. So the only way to remove it uh, is by brushing your teeth on the regular basis and brushing at least twice a day for at least two minutes. So you should also uh, floss once per day to remove any food particles they stuck between your teeth and it doesn't make long uh, for a plate to form after eating. So uh, make every effort to brush uh, after each meal or after every, uh, each snack you know. And the more you brush, the less plaque is in your mouth. So electric brushes have been proven to be the most effective in removing plaques. Uh, uh, it's a statement by the uh, British Dental Health Foundation. And these uh, uh, toothbrushes have uh, like bristles and their function is that they, they move in two directions. So which improves the uh, cleaning action and it also makes sure that uh, you schedule the regular cleaning every six months uh, by the dentist and your dentist can examine your teeth and take the x-rays uh, once in a year either your dentist or the dental hygienist they remove the traces of the plaques and uh, tartar on your teeth using the special dental tools so it's very important that uh, you arrange the dental visits regularly now plaque doesn't go away but the certain habits and the good oral hygiene can prevent a buildup. 
So along with the regular brushing, regular flossing and the dental wizards, you can reduce plaque by eating a balanced diet, like uh, reduce your intake of simple sugars and refined carbohydrates. And foods to avoid or limit include uh, uh, like uh, candies or cookies and ice creams and potatoes, bread. So you can also reduce plaque by limiting the snacking between the meals, uh, especially during the times when you are not able to brush your teeth. So this way you can uh, decrease the chance of uh, getting it. Well, you know, as we know that everyone has plaque, you know, so uh, it's not a minor dental uh, issue, you know. So the plaque isn't removed uh, is a primary cause of the gum disease known as the periodontal disease. And in fact, uh, half of the world, maybe more than half the world populations, they have this periodontal disease. So other complications uh, of the buildup of the plaque may include tooth decay, it may include tooth loss, gingivitis, bad breath, and teeth discoloration. And uh, the longer the plaque remains on your teeth or between your teeth, the harder uh, it is to remove. And the hard plaque that you cannot remove at home is called tartar. And uh, only dentist or the dental hygienist can remove this one. Uh, but you should uh, try your best to uh, stop it from happening like uh, uh, regular brushing, etc. So this way uh, it improves your oral health. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.